like Bachar, for example, collaborated with Sidhu Mota right now. Mm-hmm. Bachar is a very different scale. Sidhu yeah. Mota, massive community, but again, very different market. Uh, where I started my company, this is there was a guy who used to live in the same building because I started from my flat. He was like, "Ki, मुझे कुछ करना है." मैंने कहा, "तू content बना और जब तक hundred के hit नहीं करेगा, साल बाद मेरे से बात नहीं करेगा." What's up, guys? I'm Agastya Shah. I'm Abhishek Garg. I'm Rajman Sena. I'm Sanjay Singh. I'm Jalan Bansali. I'm Alayar. I'm Misra. I'm Hitesh. Okay. Like Bacha, for example, collaborated with Sidhu Mota right now. Mm-hmm. Bacha is a very different scale. Sidhu yeah. Mota, massive community, but again, very different market. Them coming together was something people would have not expected normally, yeah. but he did it because he. Vibes with them, he talks with them. He was like, he thought it's cool, and he went ahead and did that. So those kind of stuff, which where there's no, there's no brand involved, there's no sort of promo vehicle required. I think those kind of beautiful organic collaborations are only going to happen uh, yeah. in so that process. We we started working with this creator called Rapper Big Deal, uh, close to a year back. He, it's a phenomenal <coughs> creator. He's a rapper uh, who raps in Odia. Okay. He's an Odia rapper. Sam's journey came from the fact that I will not let this go from my root. I want to be known as the Odia rapper. Now you can call him as a regional creator because he is uh, creating content in his regional language. But today, uh, I mean, he's he's been featured on Rolling Stone's front page uh, cover. He's uh, he's got mentorship uh, with A R Rahman sir, and we've recently launched a anthem with him, which is Pepsi's anthem. And that that video and that song has become so huge that Pepsi is actually using it uh, for uh, you know the regional market marketing and promotion. Uh, one, it's so cool because music is I think that's one of the only genres I feel doesn't need a language, right? It's yeah, it's beautiful. Right. It can yeah. just communicate so well. That song, even if people don't understand the language, they're enjoying the song for the way it is. So right now, what we're doing at Dot is we're incubating, not incubating. I'm I'm suggesting to ten different managers how to build an agency. They're all from small towns. Uh, where I started my company, this is there was a guy who used to live in the same building because I started from my flat. He was like, "Ki, मुझे कुछ करना है." मैंने कहा, "तू content बना और जब तक hundred के hit नहीं करेगा, साल बाद मेरे से बात नहीं करेगा, तो तब मैं तेरे को manage करूँगा." So today he's sitting at 270k followers, and his every video reaches a minimum of two million views. His his name is Kapil Kanpuriya. He makes he makes family content, and every brand is after it. So you need to be con- consistent. You can come from any location you want, but if you can make quality content, you will be seen. Yeah, and you can build bigger agencies from small towns also because because if you you have so much access now. We started to be very honest with you. We started this conversation, and I think it stays the same. Ida is one of the most democratic place of yep. expression. Uh, your content, your creativity, your um, absolute. dedication to do this um whether it's in music comedy fashion beauty i mean we manage one of the biggest beauty creators is a guy ankush bahuna right mm-hmm. uh so i mean it's a clear definition to say that he entered a genre which a lot of uh guys thought of not entering and he's doing so well in what he's doing yeah, right so so I'm, i'm it's not just about breaking stereotypes i think it, we are overcomplicating it in a you know you know putting it in a bucket um technology and access to everything is similar to everyone so yeah. i don't think it's tough or easy for any of them and you it's, just don't just say it's equally tough content creation equally is democratic easy. it is actually democratic it in is. that sense it is it's for a new creator to create world class content using basic ai tools right now is so easy yeah and it's available to so everyone yeah. 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 yeah and it's not it's not that i have only i have access to it or only it's available uh, to everyone yeah. and this is yeah. also right so yeah. it's available to everything conversation point like AI tools, don't you think will make it difficult uh, for content creators? It's making it all easy. It's making it easy. It also so can use them effectively yeah, yeah. if you know how to use them. Yeah, yeah. Then your life is easy. AI is about input, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The input you give I mean, is also about getting. Things AI is doing is scary. It's better. It's, it's very better important. It's device. very important to let your creators know how to use the AI tools. Exactly. Most There of the people don't know how to prompt. Like, like yeah. privacy. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Like normal, कुछ बन सकते हैं या तो कुछ अमीर अच्छा बन सकते हैं. Privacy या तो privacy या तो two problems. See, आपको update होके सीख के utilize करना है. That's all. जितनी जल्दी आ जाए कर लिया वो आगे बढ़ जाएगा यार इफ यू आर्ग्यू कि ये अच्छा है बुरा है 
you will already be late in understanding because others will use the good part of it and <laughs> go on. ahead yeah you much rather learn about something new instead of debating if it's good or bad right life lesson <laughs> i mean <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, no i'm saying i see that and you, you know that very well that rather than thinking good bad because you have gone through that changing trend yeah, yeah. and thinking rather what is right wrong just move on yeah. and use it and yeah you see the good in it yeah, use absolutely it. i think yeah people like us will fight the bad also like that's our job right yeah. if someone yeah, yeah. if someone gets piracy on the board we'll kick them down and how so Come on, that's that's a job. Aishwan is here. Let's do this. I love the look when I mean, the statement my, my is matching. My entire industry is going to face the most amount of piracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's music is sent. For us, we are all arms up, ready to go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that I think that's that's been uh, something that music uh, again, uh, YouTube and a lot of platforms do this really well as well. With right. content ready, they, content. but AI yeah, can trick that very easily. So. Okay, yeah. then. That was the other day I was sitting. You can. That's true. Showing me content creation with AI and with images, I was blown away. I was yeah. like, what is happening? And he told me it has also started making videos. Mm. Or that is yeah. going to happen. Meta is coming up with these avatars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they have Absolutely. AI editing tools yeah. which are open for everyone. Yeah. yeah. So, two-part question. One, what it takes to build like a creator-led business, like. the essentials the fundamentals of it what you keep in mind while doing that and the second part is uh, how much of ownership you leave to the creator or as a talent owner or a talent ma- management agency owner how much part of it you own in that whole piece of business that is there like the ideal way to do it and this is for other talent management agency owners who might be exploring or figuring these models i can be honest and open about our learning so far Uh, number one, if you're not going with the creator's ethos and you're trying to sell something completely unrelated, it is never going to work. Yeah. If you're going to get hit really bad. It's not going to do anything. Everyone wants to experiment. Everyone has this one passion which they've not shown on camera, but they feel like they can go live with that. That is not going to work. It should be something which is very, very much uh, in your ethos. The second, I think everyone, every creator, every public figure in themselves, because they see these big data numbers in front of them. they feel that they have built a very strong audience which will buy whatever they tell them to yeah. that is not the case you need very very strong performance where a creator helps is being able to give you extremely strong content because they great marketers in themselves they understand audiences much better they can give you great content but till you don't put the right amount of performance behind it you're not going to be able to sell so running your ads really well is extremely extremely important coming to the uh, equity metrics and the way we've been doing it so far in our case it's been a very uh, equal sort of contribution so if a if the creator <coughs> or the artist owns 80% of the business they put 80% of the capital we put the rest if we own the lion's share we put more capital they don't uh, so it 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 turns around basically the way you do it in raj's model uh, he puts all the capital and the creator doesn't for any capital but they take a small equity against it so that we're all in this very funny vc early phase of <laughs> our lives where we're all trying to figure it out there's Thanks no right or wrong to it right. you need to understand your audience very well it doesn't work the same model for everyone like stan would as i said would have a very different kind of audience and what he says how he sells and then ave is having a very different to anuj or to any of our creator agassi having so it depends totally on how your community is driven not only numbers but and what how do they respond to you and there's no model on i think okay, what percentage should you own or no i think it's very fluid it's very fluid, yeah. fluid it's to fluid. what kind of model are you getting yeah. into which manufacturer someone else is trying to yeah. yeah. as i said tech books been written right now there have been few models yeah. yeah no i think fundamental core of it still remains um you know, all the things everyone saying is absolutely right but the core still remains of how well do you understand the consumer yeah. right uh I I honestly feel entrepreneurship or creating a brand or launching a brand doesn't come from the sheer want of being an entrepreneur it comes from yeah. within But just because the next step is yeah, not yeah. It's, yeah. No, no. but no, it's not the, the it's not the next cool thing to do no. uh you know <laughs> no 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 I meant I meant to say when he said the the whole hockey analogy right of yeah. waiting for the ball and predicting the ball it's Yeah. Oh, thank you. But I also <laughs> mentioned cool, yeah, which you are absolutely. I think it comes from deep down to feel that this is something I want to pursue, I want to do this. And you've also gone in depth to understand your audience, yeah. the consumer. 
and why will he buy it right whether it is a deodorant whether it's cookware whether it's clothes uh we've got a brand called kra uh, with one of our in, uh, creators bunik right fundamentally he believes in the fact that he is he's his journey everyone knows uh, a guy from dombi bleed sticks to his content the way he makes it even today right and he just felt that it's a very it's a very um, inherent extension to the way he dresses up or his personalities right uh, and that's that's kind of coming out in the way that hey like i love the kind of clothes and fashion that i'm associated with it's a basis thought of this is something i really want to do ownership etc it all comes much later and they are the best marketers i completely agree with ayushman they are the best marketers because if you if you individually look at every creator they are a medium in themselves right if you exactly what both of you guys said if you launch something which is premature if you have you know seeding like you got to yeah. seed it in your audience you got there has it has to be any creator brand which is successful today is purpose driven it's a feeling you're selling to the people who associate themselves with you if you have not put that seed over years you know it has to be pre planned and if you just launch it and expect it to work because you have these numbers it doesn't work you know we also should see that the economy behind this also going to work so many phones are going to be get sold so many cameras will get sold so, so much equipment is going to get sold ring lights so that that's it. so so many so much is to be done there so i think that's where all accepted businesses is being built but this is on the agency side a lot of us think we're great businessmen and we can run and operate any business that is not the case again if you are a talent man you yeah. try to set up a business with your creator with your yeah. talent, with your artist understand the fact that you have not done this in the past correct to so partner with the right people to even run that business to operate that business if you're not going to get the right brand manager you're not going to work with the right production vendor you're going to screw up your creators name you're going to screw up your name mm. and you're going to lose a lot of money in the process yeah so very straight up everyone needs to understand that just because you run a service agency really well does not mean you're going to have the same kind of success that's what we believe yeah. 